This man right here, his name is Leon. And you might not have known this, but he's the undefeated champion of the Galar region. Nobody in the whole entire region has ever managed to take him down. So of course, you know what we have to do. Today, we're gonna see if we could beat champion Leon using just a Magikarp. I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and I think we all know how awful of a Pokémon Magikarp is. Its evolution Gyarados is awesome, but Magikarp itself, its base stats are terrible. It does have good speed though, I'll give it that. However, in Sword and Shield, Magikarp does have a few things going for it that makes me think it might actually be possible to beat Leon using just a Magikarp. For starters, for the first time ever, Magikarp can learn the move Hydro Pump. Normally in Pokemon games, Magikarp can only learn Splash, Tackle, Flail, and Bounce. Not really a great move set. However, in Sword and Shield, Magikarp can learn the technical record for Hydro Pump, which for the first time gives it a strong Water-type move to use. Now, coming off of that base 15 special attack, it's not going to be doing that much damage, but if we level our Magikarp all the way up to level 100 and EV train it in special attack, we might be able to do something with it. So this right here is our little future champ, Macho Man the Magikarp. Now he's EV trained fully in HP and special attack to maximize his bulk and the power of his moves, caught in a lore ball for that little aesthetic, and he knows the moveset Hydro Pump, Tackle, Bounce, and Splash, just for fun. Now we're probably not going to be using any other moves other than Hydro Pump, but they're there just in case we need them. For our first and hopefully only battle against Leon, we're not going to be using any items, so Macho Man's not going to be holding any items, and we're not going to use anything in battle. Let's see how this goes. So starting off the battle, Leon sends out his Aegislash, and I send out Macho Man the Magikarp. Now the thing about Aegislash is whenever I face them, it seems like they always go for King Shield the first turn. Now, King Shield, if you don't know, is a move like Protect, where it blocks damage for one turn, and if you use a move that makes contact with the shield, it'll actually lower your attack stat by two stages. So predicting that, I went in guns blazing and went right away for my Dynamax. Now, Dynamaxing this Magikarp actually gives me quite a few advantages. First off, it turns my Hydro Pump into the Max Geyser move, which is a lot stronger than Hydro Pump. Then, when we use it, it also makes it start raining on the battlefield, which is super good because it boosts up the damage for my Water-type moves a little bit, and it also activates my Magikarp's ability, Swift Swim, which doubles my speed while it's raining. So I go for the Max Geyser, and I predicted the Aegislash correctly, and it did go for King Shield. Now going for King Shield does reduce the amount of damage, but my Geyser still got through a little bit, and I was lucky enough to land a critical hit. With that, we got the very important Rain off on the field. My next turn was super simple, just went for another Max Geyser and knocked out this Aegislash. So right now, things aren't looking too bad. One down, five to go, and we haven't taken any damage yet. But then things go south very quickly when Leon decides to send out the Pokemon I'm very scared of, Dragapult. Now Dragapult is really annoying for Magikarp to fight here because it's a dragon type, so naturally it's going to resist my Max Geyser move. On top of that, his Dragapult also knows Thunderbolt, which is super effective against my Magikarp. Now Magikarp's defenses are terrible already, so taking a super effective hit is not what we want to be doing. So I go for Max Geyser again, my last turn of being able to use it, and unfortunately, even though it's boosted by the rain, it doesn't do enough damage to knock out the Dragapult, it lives and gets a Thunderbolt off on me. But our boy Macho Man takes that Thunderbolt like it does not care, and it only does about a third of our health because we're Dynamaxed right now. But the fun quickly wears off, and Magikarp shrinks back down to its tiny little size, and also shrinks back down to 160 HP, which is not looking good for us. Luckily though, we're able to hit the Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump only has 80 accuracy, so it can miss a lot, and we knock out the Dragapult. So now that's two of his Pokemon down, and one of the scariest Pokemon on his team for me. However, our resources are also wearing down too. That rain is not going to last forever. For Leon's third Pokemon, he sends out Mr. Rhyme, which is another Pokemon that can easily cause some trouble for me. Once again, just like Dragapult, it knows that terrifying move, Thunderbolt. And this time, we don't have Dynamax to help us survive this hit. So I tell my Magikarp, you better hit that Hydro Pump, and our Macho Magikarp says, I got you, and it lands the hit. But it doesn't quite kill. 
and Mr. Rhyme fires off a thunderbolt and unfortunately knocks out my Magikarp. But we're not giving up there. We got pretty far actually, so we're gonna try this again, but this time I'm gonna allow my Magikarp to hold an item. There are lots of different items I could give Magikarp to help it out, but for me, I'm gonna choose the item the Eviolite. Now, in-game they say it's a mysterious evolutionary lump. Ugh, that word is disgusting, lump. When held by a Pokémon that can still evolve, it raises both defense and special defense. So this essentially, when I give it to Magikarp, will make it a little bit more bulkier. I'm thinking combining this with Dynamax will make it so it can tank hits really, really well and hopefully survive a few of those annoying Thunderbolts. Let's go back in and fight Leon again. Starting up the second battle, we're going for that same exact strategy, except this time we're a little bit more bulky. My first turn, I Dynamax Macho Man and turn him into Super Macho Man, and we go for the Max Geyser. Although I noticed something. Aegislash does not use King Shield. Max Geyser does a lot of damage and gets Aegislash in the low yellow zone and of course sets up the rain for us. But this time, Aegislash decided to attack me and goes for Shadow Ball, something I was really hoping it wasn't going to do. With the Eviolite, Macho Man is a pretty bulky boy and shoves that damage right off, although last time we didn't take any damage from Aegislash, so we're kind of off to a worse start already. One more Max Geyser though, and that thing's down. Next up, once again, is the dreaded Dragapult, and we're still unable to one-shot it, so it goes for Thunderbolt, and again, Macho Man with that Eviolite takes, like, no damage from it at all. We're brought down to 281 HP, which is still above the halfway mark. I can't believe I'm seeing Magikarp tank these super effective hits, but unfortunately, the fun does not last forever. Macho Man reverts back down to Tiny Magikarp, and we're down to 141 HP. And we're also back to using Hydro Pump, which has that chance of missing again. The next turn, Macho Man manages to fire off a Hydro Pump and takes out the Dragapult. Now, we're back on to Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme was the whole reason why I wanted to give Macho Man the Eviolite so it could definitely survive another one of those Thunderbolts. So we go for a Hydro Pump, and it actually knocks out Mr. Rhyme on the first hit. I was not expecting that at all, I thought we were about to take a Thunderbolt here and be in the low yellows or even the red zone. But we took it out, and Macho Man is looking pretty right now, with half of Leon's team defeated. Unfortunately though, all good things must come to an end, and the rain stops, so now Hydro Pump is going to be a little weaker. Next, he sends out a new Pokémon that we haven't seen from him yet, his Haxorus. Now, Haxorus is another one of those Dragon types, so it is going to be resisting our Hydro Pump. Still, even though Hydro Pump is resisted, it's going to do more damage than either Bounce or Tackle, because Magikarp is trained to have higher special attack. So we go for Hydro Pump, and it doesn't even look like it's going to be a two-hit KO. Ooh, we might be in trouble. Haxorus, on the other hand, goes for Outrage, and again, Macho Man can tank it, but we're not doing too good. We're at 57 HP now, and another one of those Outrages will definitely take us out. So I go for a Hail Mary play right here. I could go for Hydro Pump again, but it looks like it's not going to be enough to take out the Haxorus. So instead, I go for Bounce. We bounce up high into the sky, and that Raging Haxorus tries to hit us with Outrage, but misses. The next turn, we come back down, hit him with the bounce, it doesn't do much damage, but it does get Paralysis, which is what I was hoping for. Now, there's a 25% chance that this Haxorus will be fully paralyzed and not be able to do anything to us. All we need is the Paralysis. Please, be fully paralyzed. But no. Haxorus manages to hit us with Outrage, and ends the battle for us. Now, I definitely think we could have gone a lot farther in this battle if that Aegislash didn't attack us the first turn of the battle. If it did what it did last time, and where it went for King Shield, and then we knocked it out the next turn, we would have been at a lot more HP, and definitely been able to survive another Outrage from this Haxorus. Then we would have probably been able to knock it out and get to his fifth Pokémon, or maybe even defeat him. But unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. So now it's attempt number three with Macho Man. I could try going in there with just the Eviolite again, but I want to spice things up even more. 
This time, I'm gonna allow myself to use items. So I run to the market and pick up probably one of the most broken items of all time, the X Special Attack. When I use this in battle, it'll increase my special attack by two stages. I think that might be what we need to push us over and defeat Leon. Also, one more change I'm going to make to this little Magikarp is I'm going to take away its Eviolite, and this time I'm going to give it the Choice Spec, so its special attacks are going to do even more damage. Sure, we'll be locked into using just one move, but since we're only really using Hydro Pump anyway, I think the trade is well worth it. So we jump in battle with Leon a third time, and on the first turn of the battle, instead of going for Dynamax right away, I use the X Special Attack. This time, we get lucky, and Aegislash goes for King Shield once again, which gives us a free turn since we're not even attacking it. Now, this is where the fun begins. Next, we go for Dynamax, and we go for that Max Geyser, which is enough with the X Special Attack to knock out Aegislash at full health in its defensive form. That's insane, I never thought I'd see the day where a Magikarp can do that. And of course, like usual, Max Geyser sets up that rain, so we're gonna be doing even more damage with our Water-type attacks. Next comes out that Dragapult again, but this time it's not a threat to us at all, because we are so strong, we knock it out with one Max Geyser right away. That feels so good. Third comes out the Mr. Rhyme, and this is actually the first time we're actually facing it while we're Dynamaxed. And because we're Dynamax, this makes it extremely easy, and once again, we one-shot the Mr. Rhyme. Next up comes out that Haxorus once again, the one that ended our last run, and I got a little scared here. Half of his team down, and now Magikarp finally reverts back to its tiny little self. But we go for Hydro Pump, and with the choice specs, with the rain, with all those boosts, our Hydro Pump one-shots this baby, and it's down. His next Pokemon is Inteleon, since I chose Scorbunny in the beginning of the game. Inteleon once again resists Hydro Pump, it seems like all of his team likes to resist Hydro Pump, but we're so strong, it just one-shots the Inteleon as well. And last but not least, is Leon's famous Charizard. And you want to know the best thing about this Charizard? It's weak to water. So Leon goes ahead, he's all pumped that he's on his last Pokemon, and he Gigantamaxes his Charizard. But Macho Man the Magikarp doesn't care, because we go for Hydro Pump, and... We miss. We miss. We missed! And you wanna know what this Charizard does? It goes for Max Overgrowth and one-shots Magikarp. We're this close to winning? And we lost because Hydro Pump missed. Remember how I told you in the beginning that Hydro Pump can miss? Here we are in the most important parts of the battle, and we lost because of it. So you know what we do right after that battle? We go right back in there, we fight Leon again, and we get a little unlucky with Aegislash because it attacks us right away. But we boost our special attack up with that X special, and we're able to knock out basically his whole entire team. We get up to that Haxorus once again, we go for Hydro Pump, but we miss again, and Outrage kills us. So we attempt this for a third time, and you know what they say, third time's the charm. I'm hoping it is anyway. We're using the same exact strategy once again, and this time we manage to get all the way to Leon's Charizard. Now at this point, I'm so nervous. We're about to go for Hydro Pump again, but when we were in this position last time, we missed and lost the battle. So I tell Magikarp, go for that Hydro Pump and please hit, I'll let you evolve after this battle, and something about me saying that must get Magikarp excited because it manages to hit the Hydro Pump on the Charizard, and we take it out. And just like that, the strongest trainer in the whole entire region is down to one of the weakest Pokemon of all time. I do think if you're extremely lucky and you're able to get a bunch of critical hits, it's totally possible to defeat Leon with just a Magikarp without any items at all. I think if you get critical hits at just the right moment, you'll be able to beat the Pokemon that give Magikarp some problems, and be able to call yourself the Magikarp Champion without using a single item. Although, you need to get extremely lucky to do that, and as you can see from my last few battles, I am not that lucky. Now we're going to use a rare candy on this guy, and even though he's level 100, thanks to a change in Sword and Shield, he can evolve. I think he's earned it after becoming the champion. Now the best part out of all this stuff is after you become the champion, when you start your game and you look at the title screen, you'll see your character standing there with a lone Magikarp. 
that definitely makes this whole silly challenge worth it. So my friends, you now know that you could beat the strongest trainer in the whole entire Galar region with just a Magikarp. And I would definitely recommend trying it, it's a lot of fun to make this happen. If you enjoyed this video, you should probably check out some of my other weird Pokemon challenge videos. I'll have a few of them up on the screen right now. If you want to see any more Pokemon challenges, let me know what you want to see me do down in the comments section. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more Pokemon content. Follow me on Instagram at PokeTipsMike. And my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.